Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with a follow-up video to my high frequency or HF Nivis or Near Vertical Incident Skywave antenna video I did last week, part one. I haven't done part two yet, but I've gotten a lot of PMs and emails from people asking where you can get one of these antennas. And it's a surplus antenna. It took me about four years to find all the parts on the internet and actually assemble my own kit. But for those of you who like to make your own equipment or make your own antennas, I have a website here and that's the purpose of this video. I got an email from the owner of the website giving me permission to make this video on how to make a homebrew or homemade Nivis antenna. His first page here discusses what a Nivis antenna is and then he's also got links down here to the military manuals and the commercial vendors that make this antenna. On the next page he actually has a shopping list of the parts you need to buy and you can get all these parts at Home Depot or Lowe's or a hardware store and it gives you the layout of what the antenna looks like when it's set up looking at it from the side and then looking down from the top so looking at the center of the antenna the one dipole leg is 25 feet long the other dipole length is 38 feet long the next page here he shows how he assembles the antenna with the PVC parts and that's actually the top of the antenna where the wires will go for the dipole and over here on the next page you can actually see the antenna starting to come together. This is the piece that will get stuck in the ground to hold the, the center mast up and the coax cable, how it goes up through the center. And that's how the dipole elements actually connect to the top of the antenna mast. And then that's the whole kit laid out there. Uh, three pieces of PVC pipe with the coax that goes up the center with the antenna head at the top. You got a little camo bag to put all the parts in. And there it is set up in the front yard. I get, I'm assuming this is his home. There's one lead going up and then the other lead coming down. And you can't see the other two. But anyway, I thought you might be interested in an alternative method for acquiring a Nivis antenna by making one yourself. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been a follow-up video on how to make a homebrew Nivis antenna.